Hi, I'm Kerry Dawborn, co-editor with Caroline Smith of Permaculture Pioneers, Stories from the New Frontier. Permaculture Pioneers gives a history of the first 30 years of permaculture. It explores what we can learn about personal transformation towards sustainability through the personal stories of some of Australia's best known and also some more everyday permies who each in their own ways have made an extraordinary contribution. And how are you using permaculture now? You've been involved in permaculture for decades. Uh, what's relevant today? Well, permaculture permeates all aspects of my life, from my day-to-day -day decisions and lifestyle, right through to how I interact with my community and the world at large. Uh, one of my key focuses, of course, is here at Janbung Gardens, where we have our living learnscape and permaculture training centre and training the next generation of permaculture activists and teachers and mentoring them and uh, conducting the accredited training programs. And it's not just about growing food, it's also about working with the community. I think the most profound uh, lesson from permaculture has been small is beautiful. I know it's a shoemaker term, but starting small, starting with small systems, getting them working and then moving on from there, starting at the back door step, uh, so to speak, and uh, really exercising a lot of self-discipline. It's easy to spread yourself too far, too thin. And I learned that from living on a very large property once. So uh, the, uh, I think the concept of zonation applied properly, not so much as a dogma, but you know, looking at the underlying principles of it. Uh, what do you think are some of the blind spots of permaculture? Mm, that's, that's an interesting one. I've been thinking about that and I think it's sort of more the blind spots that people bring into permaculture. We all have our own blinkers and filters and uh, it's sometimes really hard to take the challenge for our personal dogmas. And I think permaculture thinking does challenge a lot of our personal dogmas. And um, I think also looking at the world at the moment, we've got to tread a very careful fine line between um, the reality of the bad news of what's happening to our planet and our environment and to people, um, along with um, spreading hope for change. And to be a realist and know what's going on, it's hard not to get depressed. But then on the other hand, I see the uh, power that permaculture gives people to be effective agents of change. Permaculture needs to focus a lot more on the people care side of things. And I think there's certainly some blind spots on social design and the uh, importance of uh, the, the human element and human patterns. And I'd li like to see more of a focus or a balance in terms of that together with the practical physical systems.